What's up guys, it's Tractor, we're coming to you live from the apocalypse, but uh, there's still plenty of room to have fun outside in your backyard. A little harder to have blaster battles, uh, but I'm sure that things are gonna get better, I have to believe that. In the meantime, I wanna show you, <laughs> I wanna show you this. This is the Faux Real Bow. If you've seen the Faux Bro or the Faux Bow Pro before on the channel, same creator, same uh, patented aero design, but uh, the thing that I really like about this is that it is finally a full-size bow and a full draw more or less for an adult sized archer. Now I don't need to tout the merits of uh, arrows as a long range, highly accurate projectile. They're uh, much, much better than darts and always have been. They just uh, are a little bit more of a learning curve. You can always point and click. This requires a little bit more finesse and a little bit more skill. And there's never been a better time to learn a new skill like traditional archery in practice than now. So what we effectively have is a longbow style takedown frame. These bow arms or limbs, as they're called, go in. Uh, this is a fully ambidextrous sort of setup. I'm right-handed, so I don't know. Uh, I My muscle memory just can't parse this, but uh, you flip it over if you're right-handed and everything makes a whole lot of sense. It's kind of contoured. This is all one piece of aluminum, I think, with hard coating. I'm not sure what the limbs are made of, but ultimately you wind up with at about full draw, almost 18 pounds of draw. That's, uh, it might be less. I don't quote me on that. What I can tell you is it's Pretty awesome having full-sized arrows and a full-sized bow. So I've set up some uh, some very um, apocalypse targets over here. These are just things that we've accumulated over the last few days, and I want to show you just how snappy this is. There's a little bit of light wind, uh, but I have enough to miss once theoretically. There's one filamentum drum down. Does it count as missing if it bounces back to you? I don't know. I finally did it, I threaded one of them. So effectively what we have here is a very traditional archery style knock system uh, along with a aided release in the string and then almost like a compound-esque rest here, it sort of locks the arrow into place, makes it easier to get consistent performance. Uh, most people don't shoot on a shelf like this, so I think that that's quite reasonable. It aids in your release, especially like this. Uh, we have two cranberry bottles and a filamentum uh, filament roll left. Let's uh, go for the cranberry. That counts, right? All right, so Pat thinks that we should take two arrows at once and uh, fan them out and hit both targets at the same time. I think that Pat has watched too much League of Legends. Uh, however, uh, we'll try and get him as quickly as we can here. Hopefully this works. Ah, come on. All right, so that's uh, that's about as fast as we can go. Uh, but incidentally, if the targets are larger, it doesn't even matter if they're moving. So I wanna show you guys real quick some SCNC footage of this bad boy in like actual Nerf War style combat. And maybe that'll convince you that this could be a lot of fun. David Duck! Oh no, never mind, wait, wait for it, wait for it. How many more of those do you want to send my way? Just in time! Nope. 
one-on-one. -on -one. Go get him, sword bro. All right, so hopefully you guys enjoyed that footage. Uh, I'm gonna knock this one out real quick. I think that it's very safe for Nerf War applications, as long as everyone is both wearing eye protection, you're shooting responsibly, and you're aiming for center of mass on pretty much everybody. And then obviously you pluck for smaller warriors and uh, only really full draw for your long range targets. But some of those long range shots were so cool because arrows are virtually silent at that range. There were multiple hits where people were like, what? Uh, which was pretty exciting. So I've set up one that's uh, at an elevation and a distance away there. But before I try and take it out, I just wanted to mention that you can have first shot at the faux real bow. There is a pretty limited amount of these in the United States right now. This is kind of their initial launch of this product. It's a premium product. It's relatively expensive, but it comes with a ton of arrows and it's a really great uh, option for breaking into archery. Honestly, like if this is a skill that you've always admired, I know that I grew up like really thinking that Legolas was super duper cool. Uh, it's definitely a very affordable way to get into traditional archery uh, and this uh, more so than any other Fobo product before it kind of mimics that that muscle memory and teaches those habits for traditional shooting. Uh, you can pick that up in the description box below. It'll be the top link. Uh, Mark is tracking that link. I don't know what he's going to do with that tracking as of right now but it would be really cool if my audience responded well uh, to the faux real bow just because I have an absolute blast with it and I know that you guys would too. All right, guys, before we sign off, we just want to say thanks for watching. Check out the link in the description box below. Let's see if we can pop this last target. Hey! I was really hoping it would explode more.